EPA and WA Meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for October 31st, 2020. The weekend outlook for Saturday and Sunday. And for the final day of the month of October, we're expecting high pressure to be over top of the region. Very cold temperatures to start this morning and not really rebounding too much today. We're going to get, stay in the 40s for the most part across the entire region. And um, generally mid to upper 40s from north to south is expected today with high pressure control. And so despite the, the best efforts of sunshine, we're not really going to warm up too much. And then we get the mostly clear skies overnight. Uh, not quite as cold overnight, though, with uh, temperature getting down near the freezing mark and uh, a little bit slightly above further south and east. So not quite as cold as what we'll see this morning. Uh, and then after that point, we have uh, Sunday will have increasing clouds. Any sun that you have very early in the morning on Sunday will uh, will uh, fade behind increasing clouds and rather quickly. And some areas might just start off cloudy altogether. And then uh, we'll have uh, the clouds increase and then the showers will come through during the course of the afternoon and early evening here. And you can see that here is that uh, cold front moves through. This is on the front of our lead of a trough coming in here. And that's a uh, big trough sitting here like this. So this is the cold front on the lead of that trough. And that is pushing through the region. And that is going to lead to another reinforcing shot of cooler air for Monday. Out ahead of this front, though, we will be a little bit milder here on Sunday with temperatures getting up in the mid to upper 50s. So a one-day reprieve of the colder temperatures. And then we're right back into it again on the other side on uh, on Monday. So we have the showers coming in. Here's the NAMS take of that, and this is looking at noon. So really not too much going on here at this point. Once we get into the afternoon, you see the showers starting to increase from the south, and it could be some heavier rain uh, farther south and east here with this uh, area low pressure moving along that boundary. And then the rest of us will just have just scattered showers moving through during the course of the afternoon and evening. And it may even end as a couple snowflakes here up here in uh, northeast PA. This will be overnight uh, this is actually looking at late evening. This is 11 p.m. on Sunday night, and then uh, after you get to just after midnight, this continues into northern New Jersey. And then, I think very late at night and early Monday morning, you have these lake effect snow showers coming off of Lake Ontario, Ontario which is the direction it'll be coming. And you have these, uh, the NAM 3 kilometers suggesting it's going it, to, uh, once again, affect northeast PA and northern New Jersey. So we'll have to watch for that for some snow shower activity. This is lake effect snow showers coming in behind the uh, the cold front. And this is just uh, a cold air advection coming across the warmer lake waters of Lake Ontario, pressing off to the south and east. And uh, the question is how far south does it get? Most models keep it across north central PA, northeast PA, northern New Jersey, and that's it. We will continue to monitor that over the weekend. The big story here on Monday, though, besides the fact that uh, we will have a few lake effect snow showers here in the morning, and also colder temperatures. Temperature is actually going to be colder, probably the coldest high that we're going to have this uh, so far this year, uh, with temperatures stuck in the lower 40s for highs across many locations here on Monday. But we also have with a tight grading in place, tight crash pressure grading, which you can see here by these black lines very close together. This is this pressure gradient is the difference between low pressure here offshore and high pressure out here in the Tennessee Valley. The pressure difference between the two is creating that uh, that uh, is going to create a wind on Monday that's going to be pretty substantial. Uh, we think uh, at the very least we'll have sustained winds 15 to 25 throughout the day. This is actually going to start later on Sunday night and continue through most of the day here on on. Uh, or at least the daylight hours here on on Monday, and we're having uh, we're expecting gusts that are going to be generally in the 25 to 35 mile per hour range, but we could have isolated higher gusts than that and in the 40s. So uh, this will be a prolonged event as far as wind is concerned. And this is not this is not something that is atypical for this time of year. This is something that that happens when we have cold air advection behind uh, a, a cold front moving through and a deep trough moving in. This happens quite often in the fall months and again in winter where we had these prolonged events where we go for many hours. So we're watching out for the possibility of some power outages here on Monday with that wind just because of the duration. It's not even so much that we're expecting really high winds. It's just over such a long period of time that you can that can lead to some power outages. Uh, but other than that, the winds are going to die out, die down here on Tuesday, but we're remaining uh, chilly with temperatures in the upper 40s to low 50s. We are starting to come out of it, though. By the time we get to Wednesday, we have mostly sunny skies and uh, temperatures in the upper 50s to near 60. And then we're going to be in the 60s after that with mostly sunny skies continuing through the end of the week and 
uh, temperatures in the uh, heading the low to mid 60s as we get throughout the week. Might even be some upper 60s by the time we get to next Friday farther south and east but the whole trend here is once we hit the midweek period it's going to start to warm up a little bit so this little transient cold we're having not only today but again on monday and tuesday is going to start to lift out and yield to those warmer temperatures expected mid to late week next week and beyond i'm epa and wa meteorologist bobby marchers that is your outlook for the weekend october 31st and november 1st 2020 have a great saturday and sunday